recently in the Philippines, the resource from Manila asked city volunteers to come share their experiences in environmental protection with their employees. Meanwhile, a recycling volunteer in Malaysia has been using his own house as a temporary recycling point for the past three years. Here's more. Here in Malaysia, early in the morning, 59-year-old recycling volunteer Ru Zhe Xiang and his family are out pitching a tent as a temporary recycling point. Ru has done this every month for the past three years. Ten years ago, I suffered a stroke. Now I practice recycling as a form of exercise. I'm in good spirits and my body is healthier. Under the energetic volunteer's guidance, recycling has become this community's hobby. The bonds of this neighborhood are also strengthened by it. If I'm at home, I just watch TV all day as I have nothing to do. But here I can help with recycling. Also, we can earn some money to donate to Ziji and help others in the process. Practicing recycling to protect the planet can also be seen in the Philippines. Recently, Resorts World Manila invited city volunteers to help spread conservation ideals in the company. There's a reason why in this project we not only focus the effort of uh, recycling within the business uh, premises, but also to our community because we'd like to introduce the change of, uh, no, of a lifestyle. Besides setting up a recycling point to collect bottles and cans, volunteers also set up a display of products made from recycled materials. We produce an awful lot of garbage, and it's only fair that we've now, now taken steps to break down our garbage and say what's recyclable, what's not recyclable, and then offer it to those people who can actually use these to benefit the community. So it's a great day, a great pledge, it's a start. We can do an awful lot more, and I'm hoping a lot more people can follow the example we've started. In turning garbage into gold and gold into caring for others, protecting the planet starts from a lifestyle change.